Uh, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen so you guys can see what I'm looking at. Um, I, I have I had to wear this hat today, guys, because uh, I haven't been able to get out and get a haircut. So I uh, didn't want to show all my gray hairs that I've been acquiring over the last couple of weeks. Uh, I'm, hope, I'm hoping you guys are staying safe. Um, and I do want to share with you guys something while we're waiting. I had... Um, I had this this I, this thought, you know, and, and it really speaks to me. Um, I wrote I wrote this actually it was a post of post that I had um, done on Facebook, and um, so I'm gonna pull that up here so I don't spoil it. But um, actually, it was in within our Facebook group, our Sotheby's Facebook group. So I'll remind everybody if you have not joined our group, um, we're sharing videos, we're coaching, we're we have a community there. Let me share with you guys that um, that link real quick. Would anybody be interested in that? Perfect, Laura. Thank you for the feedback, Oscar. All right, so here's the group. Uh, click on that link. Um, I'll go over a little bit of what's going on in that group as well. I am home today, <laughs> and if you see my light, it's a ring light. I usually have it situated a little bit differently but um anyway take a look at that uh that group it's growing we just started it and it's specifically within sotheby's at pacific sotheby's international realty and um it's great we got some interaction people are posting their videos getting feedback getting coaching it's really cool um but what i wanted to say is now more than ever we're reminded about the importance of a home right most of us are home right now and the safety that it provides, the memories we create with the people we love. And as a real estate agent, you all make that possible. Uh, so you have a lot of responsibility, I, I understand. Uh, but I just, the reason I, I'm saying that is because this is much more than just um, my business, your business. This is something that's affecting everybody. And it's a great reminder that you are the you're the spokes, spokesperson of your community. You're the mayor of your community, and that's a that's a powerful position you're in. Um, and 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 through video, you can continue to communicate with your with your sphere, with your community. Um, but anyway, let's jump in. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can share my screen. Again, this is all in person. I have flyers. Did you guys get? Um, yeah, Christina, you did. <laughs> um, so can you guys see um, the link that I posted on Facebook? Uh, I mean, the Facebook uh, group, everybody see that? Okay, awesome. Thank you for that feedback. Laura, you're awesome. You're so, so engaged. I appreciate that, it means a lot. So let me go ahead and share my screen. Again, I do this in person, so, um, Did you guys get flyers too, by the way? Did you guys get those handouts? Uh, if you have not gotten the handouts, let me know. Put it in the chat. I'll go ahead and send you a link where you can download all these handouts um, as well as a uh, potential schedule once we're ready to, to actually film whoever's ready to film. This is an important process whether you film your video uh, today, tomorrow, <laughs> whenever, uh, because it's gonna help you, it's gonna help you remember why you do what you do. It's gonna help you create clarity for your business. It's gonna help you create that, uh, almost an immediate response when somebody says like, you know, wh why, do you, why do you do what you do? Um, you know, and, and, and we'll, break that, we'll break that down. And whoever wants, to, whoever wants to chat right now as we're doing it, um, that's how we do it in the, in the workshop. We're literally doing it uh, during the workshop. So uh, let me see if anybody has responded. No, you did get did not receive. Okay, no one got handouts. Um, that's okay. Um, let me. Since you guys are on, let me see if I can. Would you guys want those handouts now? Something to look at. I mean, I'm going to show most of them, but it's it's kind of nice to have. Okay, here are the handouts. Tracy, I would like handouts. Cool. All right, let me see. If I think everybody can actually get these on my Dropbox. So, let me see. 
Open on. Let me see here. Where's this? Not to everybody. All right. It's, we, we got a small um, downloads there. So you guys can probably just go ahead and click on those. Let me know if, if you guys get them. Uh, some of them will make more sense as we talk, and some of them will, um, you know, you can print them out. You can start uh, hammering away at, at those, um, those questions. But okay, let's dive in. So this is a, a basically an agent bio video workshop. Thank you, Angie. You got it. Perfect. Um, and I'm going to try to go through this as, as neatly as possible. Uh, but I, I, again, if you guys have feedback, I'm going to be looking over at the chat. So I know what's making sense, what's not making sense. Um, so here we go. Everybody cool with that? I, I assume you are, otherwise you wouldn't be on this uh, webinar today. All right, so here are the goals. Like, I wanna help you guys develop a personal story um, so you guys can start doing your, your agent bio videos. This is a huge, huge thing for you and your business. Again, um, the minimum is better than nothing. And you guys have a great opportunity to get this video up on, on the Sotheby's website, which is like the premier location for this video. We've done several already and um, they're looking solid. I'll show you guys some examples within this, um, um, the slides of how they're looking, how they, how they should look as well. Um, all right, and then, you know, basically as a strategic media partner, that's what we are, we're, we're here to help you guys out. Uh, really, we are just trying to help you, lead you guys and um, help you develop that story and help you deliver that on camera. That's probably the biggest thing that we've gotten so far is when they're on camera, we're able to coach them through like any nerves, any anxiety, any like oh, uh, uncertainties. And that's why it's important to have the script uh, finalized and taken care of before we actually film. And that's why we're doing these workshops because we want to have them all laid out, ready to go. So once um, we've been cleared to go and start, start filming, we can actually start and we don't have to prolong this even more, right? We have, we have the ability to start filming right away. Does that make sense? Um, so the idea for today at the workshops, you, you have the opportunity to leave with the script Hopefully today you're able to work on it while I'm talking. I'm sure you're multitasking. You're probably looking at listings or you're on social media. I get it. So um, again, start on the handouts I sent out. Uh, if you look under the, um, the agent question, right? So this is what it should look like. Uh, I don't have that one up on there, but this is what it should look like. Does everybody see that? So I have this handout here, it's a questionnaire. Okay, we wanna be able to answer these questions and we put it into this flow. It's a, it's a, it's a copyrighted flow, I'm just kidding. I just, we just created it as a, as a team. And it's, it's a very, in most films, you're gonna see this style, this, this theme, this, um, uh, this flow and structure. Okay, so let, let me guys let me know if you guys are seeing this. Um, give me a thumbs up or a yes, we got it type of thing. That'd be awesome, anybody. Okay, perfect. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Nancy, Tracy, Christina, Angie, Lynn. Perfect. Appreciate you guys. I wish I could just turn all of your phones on, but then there might be like kids in the background, dogs. You know, who knows? Everybody's at home right now. Thank you, Oscar. Okay, so let's jump in. Um, again, this was this is the intended uh, goal, right? So we have a d different options for you, how you're going to uh, film, what you're gonna film, what tier you wanna choose, all these different great things, okay? So, um, oh gosh, see, I'm out of my flow. I'm usually in person. So the one thing I usually love to start with, which is um, I usually have everybody stand up and you can, wherever you're at, it's fine. but um, I just want you to type in the chat just one thing you're grateful for. That's how I love to start off the workshops. I want to start off with that energy, like what are you grateful for? Um, and just type it out. I, there's there's um, there's uh, there's only 20 of us right now, so I'm gonna read them all. Okay, uh, you don't have the virus. I love that. I'm healthy. I'm home. I have a family. Everybody's healthy. Um, keep them coming. Family. You're thankful for family. I love it. I'm thankful for my family. 
health, family. It's funny. It's like, you know, we're all the same. We all just want great health and our families to be great. Uh, you have an awesome wife. I love that. Points to you, Oscar. Um, and these are the things like we want to take into even like um, three properties in escrow. Nice job, Jillian. Yes. Um, fantastic. Congratulations. Like, you, you know, these are the things that you want to take into, into the workshop today. Um, we, we, we sometimes think like we have to separate, you know, all these things and they're all intertwined. Right. So, uh, I'm thankful because I'm on here with you guys. Just give me, you know, an hour or so of your time. Uh, I know that, you know, in these times of uncertainties and in these times of uncertainty, you may be like, I got to do all these things right now. And I'm glad you've taken the time to really come here and listen. Um, really quick, if I can, just a little story about myself. Um, I, I graduated, I was in college, in college, I, I was in real estate, I did real estate for a while. Um, as a college student, I wish I would have taken it more seriously and really like, but <laughs> I sold property, helped buyers, it's just enough where I can still go and travel. And I traveled like, I think it was like 15 different countries in one year. And um, I loved it. It was fun. But then I graduated with a, a finance degree. And then I went into, I thought, hey, what, what can I do? Like, what, what's something fun within real estate that I could do? And well, I went into mortgage. And that's when I started vlogging. Back in the day, I had a flip camera. Anybody know what a flip camera is? <laughs> so a flip camera is a very old phone. It looks very old camera. It looks like a phone. Um, and it was like recorded in like probably 420, 560p. And um, I started to interview people in my community and just be like, it was a great way for me to, to approach people uh, and realtors and not be like, get this pushback. Right? So I'm doing that kind of similar with podcasts right now. It's just a great way for me to add value to somebody and not, not expect anything back, but just create a relationship, right? So I started to grab my, 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 um, my flip camera, which a flip camera, you like on your iPhone, you have tons more technology than I ever did on my flip camera. And that's how I started doing videos. So you're already ahead of me. <laughs> if you ever do a video, you've got technology way better than I ever did starting off. Uh, now it's a different story, but anyway, that's how I started. And then, um, uh, a good friend of mine, Amber Anderson, she actually reached out to me because I was doing, we were working together on some of her loans and, um, and, uh, she was like, we started doing some videos together and then she's like, Hey, can you do a property video? And I said, you know, Hey, let's give it a shot back then. I think it was like 10 years ago. Anyway, let's fast forward a little bit. Uh, it was a property here in Carlsbad oceanfront. Um, and if she, you ask her this story, she'll tell you it. Uh, we did the video and then she sent it to an inquiry from somebody in the East coast, I believe New York, who sent it to his wife who was in Europe and they, they made a, an offer site and scene. So video and they sold it. Uh, so that's when it really was like, Oh, this could really work. It could help us sell more properties. Video sells real estate. It's what, we kind of, we were like, oh, this is great. And um, uh, so th that's kind of where we're at now again. It's like, at your, as your home, how are you using video to promote your properties, your brand and so on. Um, but uh, fast forward to now, we've been doing real estate videos and, you know, brands and lifestyle and property videos now for 10 plus years. We have, you know, coaching and mentoring and whatnot. But, um, you know, it's, it's been fun. And I thank Sotheby's for, for being a, a big uh, reason why, why we do what we do. And I'm happy that you guys are here. So quick intro about myself. Um, we had a few more people say, Oh, Jillian and Rachel, happy for to be here. You, Oh, you're thankful for me. Thank you, Oscar. You're so awesome. Um, all right, cool. So, uh, these, these times are no longer, these have to be uh, updated. So once we're ready and okay to go out and film you guys, then we're going to have to send you guys new, uh, new dates and times. Okay. Um, I forgot my slide about myself, whatever. Um, this here is our manifesto. So if you go onto our Facebook group, you'll see this. Um, it's going to give you like basically what we stand for, what we're trying to do within the group, uh, keep, keep each other accountable, whatnot. Okay. Uh, all right. So let's jump in. You guys, it seems like most of you, I, I, some of you, I know, I know you guys are doing video already. Um, 
if you're not familiar with the way video works, um, there, there are three main stages, okay? And I'm going to pull something up here. Another, another screen share. All right, so let me know if you guys can see this. It's called the co content multiplier, just what I named it. Not, not that important. But um, uh, just give me a heads up if you guys can see this. Now, there are three, three stages within the um, uh, through filming, right? And can anybody tell me what they think that might be? Somebody's chatting. Yes, perfect. Okay, um, you can see it. So, so three stages. We have. Um, we'll just call this. We'll just call this film, right? So, real quick, just to get you guys up to speed. Anytime you're filming, whether you know it or not, even your even if you pick up your video cam, your your iPhone, you're gonna be going through these three stages. Okay, um, and. The first one is, is super easy. It's called pre-production. So this is basically um, what we're doing now. It's like, how are we creating a story? Um, it's the, uh, the theme, the storyline, the storyboarding, the shot list, all that stuff that comes beforehand. So we're just gonna summarize it as storyboarding. And you're just coming up with ideas and concepts. Does that make sense? Everybody, everybody follow that part? That's number one. All right, hit, hit a yes, please, if, you, if that makes sense to you, please, so I know somebody is there. Oscar, thank you. So production, uh, Laura, thank you. Thank you, Lynn. Production is the second stage. So after you've done all the research, you've figured out what you want to say, who you are, like all these, all the things that you want to have on camera, that's pre-production. The second stage is called production. Okay, and um, that is basically filming. Okay, so that's, you know, the dates I showed earlier, that's when we're going to film, right? But we've done our homework, we know what we're going to do, we know what we're going to say, no one's stressed out, um, you're not anxious uh, in, in a negative way, you're anxious in a positive way, you're excited to film, and we know what we're going to do, we have a game plan, right? So a lot of times people, people will, will overlook this, the importance of it, because, um, you know, they may not know, or uh, they have, they're working with somebody who doesn't you know, put a lot of attention on that. This is probably the most important part for us. It's, it's typically the longest. And then the second is the, or the, rather the third is, uh, can anybody guess? Post production. So that's after, right? After is, can summarize, be summarized as editing, right? So you're talking like our, our team's coming in, looking at all the footage, uh, putting it all together on a timeline, editing, coloring, looking at sound, coming, finding music, all that stuff, you know, it doesn't just happen magically. It's magic, but it just doesn't happen magically uh, with no effort. So those are the three stages. The reason I present that here is because um, just to understand what goes into a video and so you know what stage you're at now, right? Can anybody guess? I, I said it earlier, you're in pre-production. So that means we're gonna figure out all the stuff we wanna film, how we wanna film it, what are you gonna say now? All right, that's, that's the stage. All right, um, I think I'll come back to this. Um, let me actually go through it real quick. So, this here. I can make it a little simpler for you guys. Okay, three stage. Now, um, this here is what I call, like the reason I call it the content multiplier is like, how much content can we multiply with what we're doing at any given time to give you more content to, um, to stretch the dollar you spent, right? So let's say you spent, um, let's say you spent a thousand dollars to film something and you did it. Um, and now you can use this content again and again throughout the year in a different way, repurposing it, right? So how can we repurpose content or how can we use what we have to create more dynamic content, right? So I always say a agent should start off with an agent bio video if they're starting off like getting into video or they haven't done it yet. That's like, I think their first priority when doing video. Uh, it, it's always kind of a, a, a balancing act though, because if you are 
you know, in the middle of a, shooting a property video or something like that, obviously getting a video for your property can help you, that can, will help you sell your property and help you close more deals, right? So I always say, hey, if you got that going and you have a certain budget, finish that and then start your agent bio video. But if you can do both, or if you're starting on your agent bio video, you know, you wanna include certain elements within, with, within the video. So I always, these are very simple, straightforward ways that you can communicate what you do. Um, so you wanna talk about like, um, you know, show people your office life, right? Does everybody follow that? So you, you know, you're gonna, we're gonna shoot footage of you at your office, your team meeting, position you in front of like an audience so people understand that we're communicating that you're a leader, stuff like that, right? Um, video of you giving a presentation, a listing presentation with a with a mock client, somebody who your friend or whatever. Um, lifestyle, so destination videos. Like, are you if, if has anybody done destination videos yet? Uh, basically, a destination video is you doing a video about or highlighting an area. So we've done several in San Diego and Orange County, and you know from Newport to downtown. Like, what's the lifestyle like? You're talking about the 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 culture, the environment, the, the activities that people can do. And, um, and then obviously property. So if you're, if you've done a property video, um, or are doing one, then there's definitely ways you can incorporate that into your agent bio video. Um, and again, I've been asked this question over and over. Can we use, um, photos? Um, I'm from what I've been told, no, um, you can double check, but I'm always, I'm always a believer and using photo to sell your property too, but in with when you incorporate it into video, uh, in my opinion, it just kind of has a little less of a of a luxury feel, or not a luxury feel, but like high quality feel. Um, so that's the direction I take it is try to do everything video. Uh, if you have to use photos for some reason, um, if it's like an Instagram story or something like that, that's different. But when you're talking about your agent bio video, that's going to go up on the Sotheby's website and then all over your website and all over social media. I suggest you really stay on, on, on board with that and just stick to video. Um, all right, give me a heads up if that makes sense, everybody. I'm gonna continue forward here. Personal brand, like things you're interested in. Thank you for the thumbs up. Um, and, um, you know, hobbies, things like that, right? So let's say you're, how, how you can tie it in, like let's say you're into boating, right? Or yachting, is that even a thing? If you like yachts. Um, so I, I posted this on social media. I said, would you rather have a friend with an avocado tree or a friend with a yacht? And it was so interesting to see the answers. Uh, I just thought it was cool. Funny. Um, I love avocados and I love, you know, sailing and boats. I don't do it, but I, I love the idea of doing it. So let's say you were into it. Um, and to the point where you actually sailed and you, and you, you know, you, um, that was your hobby. Um, adding an element of that into your videos is, is, is great. And you can kind of tie it into, to, you can weave it into the story. So let's say, you know, it's like the same way you navigate the ocean and, and you sail and you steer and like you're, you're a leader within the boat this, or the yacht is the same way that uh, you help your clients, right? So you, you help them navigate through, through some very, um, potentially some trying times or whatever. So however you want to integrate that is, is a big thing for me, or let's say you're into yoga. How does, how, how does that translate over into your, into your professional life? So I like to take a personal hobby and then intertwine that into the, like the video itself. Now for the, the agent, these, uh, these options that you have that we're doing, uh, we're, we're making them super affordable. So unfortunately we can't dive into hobbies in that series, but if you want something custom, yeah, we can. But in that specific series, those tiers, we're really doing it cost effectively. So we're 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 getting you the script, but we're also like, you know, having to cut some things out just because of, of the sake of time and 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 budget. But um, okay, hope that makes sense. Let me go ahead and jump over to this next um, the actual actual structure of the. Uh, wait, I see. Where are you? There it is. All right. So, um, agent questions. So I'm going to need your help with you guys. I'm going to need your help big time because again, I usually do this in person. So, um, for those of you who are, are, again, this is a workshop. 
So if you're looking for just me talking the whole time, uh, pretty much done. Take this, take this questionnaire, fill it out, get it back to us. But if you're wanting to work through this, I'm here, I'm available. Um, but basically you wanna, we're gonna break this down now. So you have your, your structure and your flow, right? So um, now we're gonna go up to the top and we're gonna say, okay, um, is there a life philosophy or a personal model that you, that you go by that's carried on, out into your work life and personal life, right? So you can ignore the open, but that's just giving you a heads up like where it's gonna go in the script. So if you scroll down, you're gonna see it's gonna go in the open, question one and two. Now, like I said uh, earlier, this is the hobbies question, which we're not gonna have, um, you know, time to go, time to dive into that for, with the, um, uh, with the tiers that, that we're doing with more of like a streamlined approach, but uh, you can always write that. So, so obviously when someone asks you why you do what you do, you can kind of have a full complete story for, for when you talk to people. Um, but anyway, this one's like, uh, the first one is like to be the best version of myself and to do, do it with humility and confidence. Um, that's, that's a model, right? That's a personal, uh, it's like a personal life philosophy. Does that make sense? You guys, you get, you guys get why, um, why we're trying to search for something that resonates with you in terms of like your personal model. Perfect. Thank you. Yes. Okay. So, um, you know, for, for me, uh, I am thinking, um, you know, spend, spend some time right now writing that out. Um, how many of you just give me a heads up. There is 20 of us here. Okay, just about 20 of us. Um, who's here to, you guys wanna spend time doing them um, and, and, and then I can answer questions uh, or do you guys want to, um, do you guys have other questions that we can address after going through the, the, the questionnaire? Let me know. But since no one can answer me, no one can give me the full rundown, um, you know, let's go ahead and, and, uh, and go through these questions. All right, so question two, like I mentioned earlier, you may or may not be able to do it, right? Um, let, me, let me show you guys this real quick. These are the guidelines. So if you, in, in, the, in the actual Dropbox like I sent you, this is included in there. So we're, we're aware of the guidelines, so, if you do film a video with us uh, or the tiers, the different tiers, we're gonna have that taken care of. But I suggest you read that because you may or may not, you know, know certain things. And you know, last thing you want to do is have a video and then it's rejected by by SIR. So, and then here here are some examples. I'm gonna let me go through this real quick as well. So the there are three tiers. So tier one is is essentially you just looking into the camera like like this so if you can i'll zoom in zoom in a little bit um so this this shot right here is what's what's called a um what's called the into camera or interview type of a type of shot right so our goal is to have two two cameras so even if you're just talking into camera, you're gonna have a dynamic, more of a dynamic look, right? And that's tier one. So tier one is just that. You're just talking into camera and that's, it, it's the script that, that you're writing right now. Um, and we'll obviously help you with that uh, to, to fine tune it. We actually, in the other workshops, we, some, of, some people stayed, some people had to leave after an hour, but basically if the people that weren't able to stay, they emailed it to our team and then we work with them, we give them back and forth, like, okay, here's, here's, a, here's an updated script, tell us what you think. So, and we have to keep it to a certain length, I believe it's 150 words for that 60 minute, for that 60 minute, not a 60 minute, 60 second video, all right? And the second tier is that same thing, again, so it's this camera angle, so you can imagine you talking in the camera, kind of like I'm doing right now, and, and saying, hey, Hey, this, you know, uh, you wouldn't say, hey, but um, my name is David Moya with videosalesrealestate.com and I've been shooting real estate 
you know, videography for the last 10 plus years or whatever, you know, whatever the script is that we come up with. Um, and then, um, and then we would cut to a different angle. Now tier two is that same thing, but then we're going to get video of you interacting and working. Right. So if you look at this, if, if you look at this, um, if you look at the, uh, this next sheet here, you'll see this gentleman working, um, and we'll get footage of you working, um, and, uh, doing real estate <laughs> type work, right? Answering the phone, different things like that. So it's going to spruce up the video. It's going to make it a little bit more exciting than just you talking into camera. Again, the goal is really just to get everybody, um, all the agents to do some sort of video. Depending on your budget, you can continue to make it more dynamic if your budget allows for it. If not, your minimum is still gonna be much better than nothing. Uh, and even if you just record it uh, into camera, we're gonna try, we're gonna do at least two angles. That way, again, it's, you know, seven seconds, you're gonna lose somebody, so we catch a different angle, and then the, the viewer is gonna be like, oh, hey, let me, let me uh, stick around. Maybe there's something else that's gonna happen, All right? Cause you gotta, you have to remember that you have different you have different um, databases, right? So you have a warm, uh, a cold, warm, and hot, right? So your, your cold audience is not gonna look at a video long, but your hot audience will or might, right? So you wanna be able to, in this video, you wanna be able to capture all of them. And then of course, you can always have a long version for your hot market because those are the people that really wanna know who you are and they're like, I'm gonna invest in this person because they're gonna sell my home or I'm gonna have them represent me as, a, as, their, as their, or they're gonna, they're gonna represent me. Um, then, you, you know, it's a different market. So you're gonna have potentially people listening and watching much longer. But we're gonna cover all the bases and make sure that from your cold to your hot market, people, people stay engaged. And so how we, pe how we keep people engaged is we cut camera, uh, cut, cut angles, we add more footage, and that's what B-roll is. B-roll is just footage that, that um, is not, um, you know, it's like um, filming, filming you, you guys working or filming you uh, walking on the beach and that type of thing. So that's, that's that second, um, second tier. The third tier is all that and then some aerial footage that we have that we've been, um, that we were using for this project. Um, or in the, we've been able to actually use quite a bit of, um, um, of, of past past work that we've done with some of our clients. So any, anything like that, that you want to add to it, we can continue to add, um, which I'm a big believer in doing. So um, I will, Laura, I will send an email out to all of you. If you leave me, uh, go ahead and send me your contact information. I'll email everybody an example of the video. Um, and then for a mother and daughter team, uh, Jillian, I, I, if you're going to do something custom, then you can, you have more time to play with both, both subjects and characters, right? So you and your mom. Um, but when you're doing something short and uh, 60 seconds, I suggest you do yours and then, um, you know, your, your mom could do hers separate. You can mention each other and mention that your mother and daughter team, and then you can also use B-roll of you guys interacting so people can understand it. But I wouldn't have like both of you interview at the same time or, or um, just because this is it's an agent profile video for you on the website. Does that make sense? All right, any other questions? Perfect. Perfect. So that's like that's the third tier. Um, and then um, I want to say for the, let me see here, the questions. Um, I'm just going to go through them because I'm going to give you guys ideas as you're, as you're writing these questions down, okay? Um, okay, number two, obviously we're bypassing, but you can write it out. I suggest you do it for yourself. Uh, and then, but know if you're going to send us a script for our team to to fine-tune and to tweak we won't include that that content in there unless you're doing something custom if you want to do something custom with us let us know when you when you email us or when you contact us we do have special pricing for other southern views agents obviously for that as well um okay so number three is history about you so how did you start why did you start real estate 
How long have you been doing it? What do you love about it? Right? So all these questions you want to write down, you want to have an answer for them. Like, um, and you, you probably know them, but they need to, we're including this and we're going to have it very well formulated. So you know what you're saying very quickly. Oh, by the way, we're going to have a teleprompter. So this script isn't going to be memorized. Who's happy about that? <laughs> uh, I'll show you an example of what we did. The agent looked very natural, didn't look like he, he was reading at all, which was great. And um, that way it's like almost hands-free, touch-free. I mean, obviously once we get through the script, you can pretty much sit back and just show up and, and then approve your video at the end. But um, you wanna have you know, the answers for these, these questions. And go ahead and fill it out. Um, don't don't hold back, but obviously don't write a book for each each question. I would say, you know, max paragraph per answer, because again, we're gonna have to cut. We're gonna have to cut stuff. Key, and then you'll see, like, you don't have to do that now, but just write out what feels and flows well. And then when you send it to us, then we can fine tune it and cut stuff out or suggest something else. Okay. Um, and then what makes you different from other realtors? Your differentiating elements, right? So just because, um, let me see, I believe, Rachel, okay, Jillian and Rachel. So in their case, um, I, I think that a mother and daughter team could, could be an advantage, right? And you can always spin it however you want. Uh, if you're not a mother and daughter team, don't freak out. I'm not saying that's the only way to go. What I'm saying is Jillian and Rachel have an advantage if they angle it a certain way, all right? What do you, as a consumer, if you knew you went to down to, uh, you know, let's say, um, I don't know, bike shop, and you knew that it was owned by me. Okay, even if you liked me, you may not know me too well, but if you knew it was owned by a mother and daughter, uh, I, almost immediately, and I, I'll admit it, I'll, almost immediately I feel more like they're trustworthy, right? They're working together, you know, there's gotta be this sweet feeling after, you know, working with them and it feels warm. It doesn't feel like, let's say someone like, like, um, let's say some, <laughs> someone like a guy, right? Like me who maybe even if I'm friendly, um, there's this differentiating factor when you have a mother and daughter team. Hope that, hope that translates. You understand what I'm saying? Like there's, so there's an advantage that I would play off of that. Um, not that that itself makes you different, but I would just use that. Um, there was a gentleman in our workshops, he was, um, there's two. So one guy was international and he was like, man, I don't, I don't really have that much experience here, but he's international. He has, he's done sales, real estate sales internationally in a different country. He's come here, he's been working here for a year or so, but he's able to leverage that. It's like, I've sold, I sold real estate all over the world, right? Now, not everybody can say that. So it's about finding different angles. Uh, another, another gentleman, um, he, he, he came from an entirely different industry and um, a doctor even. And he was like, I, I don't know like how I can, I can spin it. I'm like, you have a great opportunity because people trust doctors and you can show show people how you've helped people through through you know surgery through through treatment whatever and you're taking that over into into real estate the same care the same level of care the same um uh special touch that you were able to to provide to your patients you, you're now transitioning and sharing that experience with your current clients so there's just different ways to to spin it Make sense? Can I get a thumbs up from anybody who, who agrees with that? Um, okay, five, like what, any questions start, a, start asking and I'll, I'll be more than happy to, to answer some specific questions um, while we're doing this because um, this, is, this is the perfect time to do that. So um, what do you love about selling real estate? Right, that's huge. A lot of times people, people, people think your answer is gonna be the paycheck, right? We gotta remind them that that's not the case, even though that's, it's gotta be to a certain extent, meaning like you still have to pay bills, the money you cough up to pay for videos, to pay for staging a house, or pay for 
uh, marketing the property, you got to make that back and some, right? Otherwise, you wouldn't be in business. So we get that. But what do you love about selling real estate? Um, is it the is it the architecture? Is it the you know matchmaking, right? Bringing some homeowner and some property to get together, rather some buyer and a property together, and helping them create a home. Uh, and so whatever aspect of real estate that you love sell or love love the most is what we want to want to focus on. Is it? I think an example is equestrian living. So like, are you an avid writer and you want you know, to share that lifestyle with people, whatever it is, um, let, you know, talk about that. If there's, if there's like specific geographical areas that you're like this killer expert in, I know some people are super hyper targeted. So they're, they're in a specific geographical area and they're like the king or queen of that area. If so, let's talk about that. Um, Specialties, like I mentioned, equestrian, equine, that type of stuff, um, certification, stuff like that. We can touch on a little bit, um, awards and stuff like that. But again, for something this short, even for longer ones, uh, mentioning is enough in a subtle way where it's classy. I wouldn't overdo it because nobody wants to you just hear you talk about your accolades and whatnot. They want to hear uh, about you, right? So just one question real quick before I continue. Whenever you've, if you've, if you've gotten a listing, um, congratulations. But when you get to your listing presentation and you get that client, what would you say when you're in person presenting and they say, you know what, we want to hire you. What would you say is the reason for them hiring you? Like, what's the number one reason they're hiring you? Anybody? They're hiring you, right? So yes, 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 that you have great, they, they, and they trust you, they trust you, I love that. Yes, they trust you, they trust you, and they trust you, they have to put their trust somewhere, right? So you're offloading that trust to them, uh, for them rather, and now they like you, they wanna work with you, right? That connection, Oscar, yes. So you can't get a connection if there's nobody to connect with. So your agent bio video is giving them an opportunity to connect with you before you see them, before they call you, before you go to the listing presentation, right? So this is the, uh, I always say like your video, your videos are your army. Your videos is your army. Anyway, so you get it. Like your army of videos are going out there into the world. And, and what are they, what are they saying? So that's, that's just the something to remember. I'm like, I'm such a b big believer in, you if you look at all the successful people in general but in specifically in real estate they've done a great job at branding themselves right and and their likability is high and um they can connect and they can trust and so um again and you guys are lucky because you have sotheby's platforms and you have the, the resources and all that so that's always going to give you an advantage but your advantage, your highest advantage is you. Like your, your your highest and best advantage is you and how are you different how and connecting with them, right? So you're your biggest asset, in other words. Um, okay, so tell us a little bit, number six, tell us a little bit about your team, your team culture, your values. Uh, and if you don't have a team, just fill it out as you have a team. Um, and if you don't like to portray yourself as having a team, because I've had some agents who are like, and I want them to know they're not going to get some big, you know, some big, um, you yeah, know, rather they're not, they're going to get me. They're not, they're not like hiring a, a big uh, team and then they're not going to see me ever. Right. So I've had both. And then I, I think again, it's about angles. It's about how are you selling that? So if you are a big team, how are you selling that? If you're one person, how are you selling that? I think there's angles for both. So really just don't overthink it. Write what's true and authentic for you and then we'll help you fine tune that. Does that make sense? Yes, it does, David. Perfect. All right, so now, what makes Pacific Sotheby so different from other companies? Now, you don't have to tell me that now, but go ahead and, and think about why you're with Sotheby's. They, you wanna talk about Sotheby's, Pacific Sotheby's International Realty, because they have, there's a lot of advantages to working with, with them, right? And so you're bringing that advantage to your client. And then also, 
What do you love working about? What do you love working? What do you love about working with Pacific Southern Music International Realty? Because that's important, right? There's there, that kind of hits two two different sides of the brain, right? You have like oh resources and and marketing and and all this other stuff that's very factual, that's very um, measurable. But then you have the other side, which is why do you love right feeling like um, I, I love working work for and with PSIR because of leadership. I can I can feel leadership caring. They they you know management and 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 the owners they care. They want to they want to make sure we succeed. Um, you know they they have people in place. Um, you know to make sure we succeed. So uh, you know that's that's the type of stuff you want to also hit on, right? Does that make sense? You get the two you know people who are people who are looking at to okay give me the facts like where's my house going to be in on the internet where's um how are people going to find out about it and then the other side is like the people behind the scenes the the feeling the touch all that stuff okay and then uh why did you choose pacific southern international realty do you have any specific examples of success stories you're having as a result by being with psir right so that's just again that's just adding to the the uh, case of why you continue you've made a smart choice with this company right so that's just gonna have continue to make you look which you are make you look very professional very successful because you've been able to make great decisions and that's why you're with psir right uh okay cool so any questions I hope that I hope that made sense. I hope that um, we're almost to an hour here, ten minutes till. But um, I have a couple I have a couple minutes to answer any questions. Um, for you, for those of you who uh, who sent your email, who posted your email, uh, I'm assuming that um, I will be able to see this later. Um, I think I can. So, um, okay. So I have a question. How many takes does it normally take? <laughs> um, you know what, um, if we weren't doing it, if we weren't planning ahead and I was just asking you a question, because so we do that. Um, like Jan Horn, for example, he's the um, director of Ar architectural director. Oh gosh, Jan's my, my homie, I don't know how, I forgot this. Anyway, he's, he's a boss, right? He's, he's, he knows his stuff about architecture. Um, <laughs> sorry, Jan. And um, we interview him for different property videos, depending on if we're able to get him and so on. And I can ask him questions and he spits out this in these amazing sentences for a property video, which, you know, typically is under two minutes, but that's much longer than what we have here. So because of this, this, the environment that we're filming all these in, they have to be quick and we don't, we, we don't have a whole lot of time to coach, right? Because we're trying to, we're trying to give you the, the most bang for your buck and have you scripted and have you say it into camera. So I will tell you, it took most people, it's taken most people like under 15 minutes, under 15 minutes to do their part. Some like literally a minute. Like, oh, that was great. Okay, great. Other, other times it's like, okay, let's just re-say that one part because it felt like you kind of, uh, your voice dipped or you kind of didn't, you didn't smile after, right? Because we want to, you know, wanna lead. a lot of times people think, oh, I'm just reading and they get a little concentration going and then they forget to smile. I would say, 100% everybody did it under 15 minutes. And then uh, I, I suggest you, you read your script, but um, I, don't, I don't want it to be too memorized, right? And then you're just kind of reading it off. Um, I would say, but I will say if, if you're extra nervous, I would say read, um, read it. And I wouldn't say memorize it though. You're going to, you're going to, you're going to rack your brain trying to memorize it. And um, it's pointless. I mean, that's why the teleprompter is there because you're going to be reading it. It's literally going to be like me talking like this. It's not going to feel different because the teleprompter has the words like right there on the camera. So you're looking into camera, you know? So, um, and it, is it better to film at a house or at the office? How many patients? Okay. So tier, tier two and three uh, includes everything includes one location. So the way we've done it 
in here in San Diego, which we were we were planning on doing it there, is finding a big listing that everybody um, would base would come and scheduled out, right? So you'd be at eight o'clock, somebody else would be at nine o'clock, and then we would find different different corners and different sections of the house to film different sections of the video. So no one's overlapped um, content, um, but if you're looking for something more custom than, you know, like multiple locations, then that's going to put you in the custom because there's just no way we can fit everybody in, in those slots. Um, but I will say if you're going to do a custom uh, and just to answer your question, honestly, is I always recommend doing your interviews at a house. That's why we're doing them at a house because we don't, we don't want it to look um, like we're at an office. Right, we want to take people away from that space and say we're in homes where this is our job and warms much warmer has more depth so you'll see in the videos like um an office is pretty much a wall right um you know so it's not as exciting whereas if you if behind me like if you saw if you if, again this is more of a high quality thing so you're going to see you're going to be in focus and behind you is going to be blurry, but you can still see like, you know, structure. You can see like, oh, there's a kitchen, kitchen bar behind you, or the, you know, or a fireplace behind you. Whatever we're able to find that day, um, that is more dynamic and it's going to keep people more interested. I mean, just picture it in your head right now, watching me here, watching me with like nice colors, and even though it's blurred out, like maybe a, a fireplace, and and then maybe like some cool, cool art in the back. That's more exciting than what, what's behind me right now, right? Just two doors and it's nothing in the back. Um, so good thing about my room here, it's kind of long, so depth is nice and that's what we look for. But if you're in an office, it's pretty, pretty boxy. So um, I don't recommend it unless you have some crazy cool office. Uh, and even that, if that's the case, you gotta think about environment and you gotta think about sound and lighting. Lighting's fine. We can bring as much artificial light as we want but um sound people are going to be working there so you know you might hear somebody high-fiving somebody else because they got a listing or whatnot so you we want to be in a controlled environment and that's why we we've opted for a, a property a big enough property where we can fit um, as many people as possible and it's done it's done nicely tastefully it's not like you know you're in in you know you're like squeezed next to each other oh, I'm i'm next no like no, it's it, you're done. It's done in a way where you're coming in. It's your space. No one's around. We take care of you. And then once you're done, you know, you're done. And then the next person comes in. Um, does that make sense, Jillian? Just give me a heads up. Um, and then, uh, perfect. Uh, is the there a date for filming already set? Um, in my head. <laughs> um, uh, Javin, perfect. I would say, I would say that we're, we're trying to, but again, we're, 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 um, Sotheby's, we, we can, as a company, set, create this, set it up within the current, you know, situation, environment. So, um, we suspect as soon as possible, and that's why we're doing this workshop, because we want to have everybody ready. Right, because think about it. We were spoke. We were scheduled this whole month to go do workshops all over, and what you saw was just the beginning. So you can imagine that it's a lot of scripts our team is going to have to go through. We don't want to have all you know thousand scripts to go through come you know come April. So if you're going to do this, do your script and get that finalized now. Because again, first come, first serve. So we're gonna go out and film in La Jolla. We're gonna go out film in, out in the desert. We're gonna film out in Orange County, but first come, first serve. So like, if you're ready to go and you're gonna be the first people to come as soon as the order's let, lifted, then you know you wanna have your script done and you wanna have it approved with us, ready to go and, and all that. Got it? Laura, you said you got it. Do you already have B-roll of the desert? Yes. Um, but if you have suggestions, let me know because we will be there again. So we will film again, right? So, uh, if you have any specifics, if you're in any area and you're like, Hey, 
I would love to see this in my video. Let me know because we can do our best to accommodate that. What area do you already have? To be honest, I don't know. I don't know the area that well. I can tell you like exactly the area, but I know it was a golf course <laughs> and it had a lot of beautiful skies and mountains around it. Um, it was, it was uh, on the day that we had the, the kickoff. Uh, so we did some filming uh, on our way back. So we, I think we took the back road. So it was like beautiful and we just shot a bunch of aerial shots. It was really nice. But anyway, Jillian, if you have specifics, let me know and then I can work with you to, to, to get that on the day that we go back. All right, um, if you have not done so already, let me, let, for those, I, I see some people uh, signing up here. Let me do this one more time. If you are interested in our Facebook group uh, and you haven't signed up yet, uh, it's a private Facebook group, sign up. We're doing, we're sharing videos. We're gonna share the most recent videos there as well. So if you do wanna see that there, uh, add yourself and then one of our admins will let you into this exclusive group. Um, but uh, we're doing coaching there. We're doing um, accountability. I'm giving feedback on even videos that you're doing at home. If you're, if you're watching and you're interested, I'm doing another workshop about um, how to do videos with your iPhone. Uh, very easy, very um, fast, exciting stuff you should be doing already. So if you're interested, anybody interested in that? Yes, hit me up um, and I will shoot you over that contact info or rather that information as well. Um, uh, do you have the video from the kickoff? That's actually fi being finalized right now. It, it's done, um, but we're tweaking some things. But yeah, so there was three locations. We had the kickoff, Orange County, the desert, obviously San Diego, but it, it looks great. It looks great. Um, so again, join the group and then we have some resources we have some free coaching, so you guys are creating content, um, you know, every day, really. I mean, you're at, if you're at home, you know, we can come up with some great ideas together how you can do stuff. We even, we're even doing, like, some cool stuff with agents here in San Diego. They're starting an initiative of, like, giving uh, back to the community, like, helping elderly and getting food to them and groceries and whatnot. Um, so, yes, yes, yes. So, thank you. Thank you, David. Stay safe, everyone. Yes, Oscar, thank you so much. Um, so if you fill out the questionnaire and send them over to you, will you be able to, yes, but you have to fill it out. Uh, and we'll work with you on that. If we have to call you, we can call you. Let us know what tier you're doing. Again, um, um, we're finalizing all that stuff now. So uh, I'll, I'll email you, you guys can sign up, and then I'll put you, you know, on the list. Uh, the first people that we're going to start filming in, in the desert or in Orange County or in San Diego, but you need to know. How long does it take to get, the, to get it back after filming? Um, so if we're, like, if we're filming on a Friday, you know, it's going to take, uh, you know, we're going to get to it usually on Monday. So I would say, depending on how many people, uh, we've been turning it over right now in a day or so. So pretty straightforward. Once you get your final video back, may 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 be different because you might come back and be like hey you know what um i don't really like how i look here can you take that part out and like extend this other section so you know how it is could be going back and forth thank you christina thanks for being on jillian does that work does that make sense awesome dude you guys are awesome you're interactive group i love it uh Hopefully, hopefully uh, you guys all are staying safe, <clears throat> healthy, and uh, join the group. We have some exciting stuff coming up. And then um, what are you guys doing? I'm curious. What are you guys doing? What do you need help with? I have, I have, I have a few. I have, wow, 15 of you guys left. Tell me what, if you can, what are you guys doing? What do you need help with video-wise? Uh, where do you see a lack of support video-wise? I would love to know because then I can help create something that'll help you. Um, honestly, we're in this together. Like real estate doesn't exist, I don't exist <laughs> with my business, um, vice versa, right? So if you're in, you're in your office, you're in your room, um, you know, how do you 
What was that body position? What do you mean? Elaborate on that. Um, you know, how can I help you? So you're creating more content. What is it that you're looking for? Is it a, is it, if it, maybe it's not even a service. Maybe it's just, Hey, here's my question about something. Right. So, uh, how to get comfortable doing video if you hate it. Okay. Jillian, tell me what you mean by position, body position. So Elizabeth, the one thing I'd say is, um, everybody hates it. <laughs> um, so I think you have to get, you have to, mentally don't take yourself to a place where you think it's different than how you are in person. Right. So you, you're probably fantastic in person and you're going to tell me, Oh yeah, I'm great one-on-one. -on -one, but when I get in front of a camera, I freeze up or I don't know what to say. Everybody does that first of all. But then what I say to follow up is focus on the fact that you're great in person because you're in person when you're filming. And if you just focus on pretending that the camera is a person, you're going to do better. And again, it's practice, 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 practice. I had a, a, a coaching client of, of mine was like, I, you know, I did your thing. I'm, I was nervous, scared, but I feel better. So do, do one, do two, do three, do four. And guess what? It's going to get easier. It's going to get better. Okay. Just like everything else. Right. Uh, first time you cooked, I mean, unless you're like super, you know, Gordon Ramsay or whoever, uh, it probably was okay. And it just got better and better and better. Um, so that's my thought. Um, and then the other question is, uh, and just do it over, right? The, the more you're uncomfortable, the more you do something you're uncomfortable with, the easier it's going to be. Um, how do you, Jillian, tell me what do you mean by body position before we and um i'm super new i'm making a thing on my journey okay so cool um i would say if you are do you position us on yes of course of course uh jillian will we get you all framed up uh and you take a look at it we'll take a picture of it and then we um we take a picture of it so you can see it but then we'll take a picture of it so we can post it Right, and then you can show it on social media. Um, I'll show you one that we just did um, the other day. Um, oh, I take too many pictures of my kids, so I don't know where it is. But anyway, we frame you up in a professional manner. I look good on camera, let's, let's rock and roll, okay? Um, oh, in terms of clothing, thank you. Solid colors. Um, if you can go with the blue, Sotheby's blue, I suggest that. Uh, and I would bring an extra pair of clothing because when we're filming the other parts of your video, it's kind of nice to have a different outfit. If not, no biggie, no biggie. Don't stress out, right? You want to keep stresses low, all right? Excitement high. <laughs> but uh, solid colors, you know, uh, avoid super flashy stuff unless that's your thing. I've had some agents like, no, 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 this is like I wear this red hat all the time i can't take it off so okay if it's part of your brand i get it and then um makeup and hair uh however you feel like you're gonna feel confident right so if you need to get your hair and makeup done to feel better go get it done okay um javin send me your email we're gonna send that out and join the group because we're gonna send that out so if you're looking for a video example uh we're gonna send that out after the after the workshop um so two ways you're gonna get it Facebook group or and or uh, shooting me your email here so I know because I don't think I don't think you guys have to sign up for this so I don't know I don't know who you are and your contact information unless I know you personally or have met you so um, let me know Jillian that's good okay cool all right any other questions before I wrap up I know it's for about seven minutes after um, Guys, you guys have been amazing. I want to thank you for being interactive with me. Um, uh, you have given me such um, a refreshing uh, dose of, of interaction, believe it or not. I, I'm a big um, social guy. And um, when I'm not filming and stuff like that, even now when I'm filming, it's like we have to be separate. And I, you know, I'm, anyway, so thank you for doing that. Uh, other question is, we do a Facebook log anyway uh, to make it interactive besides just talking. So <clears throat> um, I think I'm going to do another 
another webinar on, on podcasts and then creating community within the podcast, which Facebook Live can, can really play off of that really well. Um, I, will, I will go ahead and shoot over some, um, some information on ring lights. Basically, I mean, I have one here. It's not typically I have it behind, but right now I was like, I'm just gonna put it right here. It's just better lighting. Uh, for your phone, there are small ring lights. So go ahead and, I mean, I suggest that Facebook Live interaction. Um, I would say talking, I mean, yeah. And then obviously saving that video and repurposing it on multiple platforms. Um, and then, you know, just do your thing. I mean, like, you're very interactive, you're very personable, so I already know that. Um, you know, ask questions, right? Ask questions. None of you would be responding in chat right now if I didn't ask questions. Even when I didn't get a response back, I kept asking, right? So um, constantly ask questions, right? Things that come to your mind. Uh, you're going through a kitchen and you're saying, oh, this is great, you know, um, this, this kitchen is wide open and expansive, um, you know, uh, what, and then bring it back to here. What are you guys like, what are you guys cooking right now? Since you're in quarantine, any cool things, any cool recipes you'd like to share, please share below. Like, I know there's a lot of people who are going to watch and they're like, give me some ideas and how to cook and what to do. Right. So be interactive, really use a quarantine thing. Um, because we're all in it. That's how we're connecting. Right. I'm like, Oh, I know what you're going through. I'm going through that too. So what are you doing? Like, how are you exercising your dog? Uh, how, you know, how are you staying sane? How are you, you know, eating well, stuff like that. So interact, ask questions. Uh, when, even if they're not real estate related questions, again, go back to the fact that people want to connect with you and, and then they're going to buy a real estate from you or they're going to help you or going to ask you to sell their, their house. Right. Would you post the weekly live on YouTube channel? Yeah. And start a new playlist, um, Facebook, Facebook live, whatever, or your show, whatever it is. Um, and then that way you can send people back. Uh, and say, hey, you know, wherever you, wherever you have the most traction, I always think, here's the thing, it takes a lot of videos to create some traction with YouTube. So create somewhere else where you have traction already, add to YouTube, start adding that in your library, and that way at some point you have enough and you'll have enough traction that it'll help propel you to the next level on YouTube. Does that make sense, Julian? Like, like I, think, I, think, I think people think, oh, it has to be one or the other, um, but I suggest go wherever you have the most traction. And traction, I mean, where do you have the most viewers, most interaction, All right? Because I think, I think Gary Vee says, uh, if you know who, don't know who he is, just Google him. But I think he says, like, it's not even about your followers. It's about the amount of interaction, All right? So you can have 10 followers, but if you have all 10 interacting with you on every post, then you are an influencer more than somebody who has, let's say, 10,000 followers, and their post gets, like, one comment. So quality, quality over quantity. But since you're on doing a Facebook Live anyway, start adding to your YouTube channel, create a new playlist, right? Because people see you there and be like, oh, she does this video. Let's go, you know, let's go, um, let's go to her Facebook page and like it. And you have to remember a lot of people aren't going to consume your, your professional content, right? Because that's, that's a specific type of person ready to buy or sell. So the ones that you still want to be on top, in top of mind with are the ones that, uh, your friends, your sphere, the people, your co you know, coworkers. So how you stay top of mind is talking to them about day-to-day -day stuff, talking to them about what, 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 what matters to the general population right now. And then they're going to think of you and they're like, you know, Hey, Hey honey, you know, I think we should buy a house. We have enough down payment now. The FHA is like whatever, or, you know, and they're going to be like, Hey, you know, Jillian sells property. Uh, she does, you know, I see her, posting all the time on Instagram and it's not necessarily just real estate. Does that make sense? All right. Any questions we have? Wow. You guys are sticking around. I love it. Let me know. I mean, if there's something specific you want, I mean, I'm pretty much done with the presentation. Send me your script in the handouts. You'll see my contact information, but if you need it, here it is. Okay. So it's David at video sells realestate.com David at video sells realestate.com here's everybody and then if you want my cell phone I'll give this out to everybody guys so uh, yes <laughs> uh, but go ahead and reach out 
<clears throat> if if you have not post your post your email address okay thanks so much guys have a great day you guys have been fantastic i am doing this again tomorrow for those who weren't here uh or if you got in late i saw some of you guys come in late i am doing this tomorrow at uh let me see tomorrow at 12 30 same time same channel uh, and we will be ready to knock this out of the park again. Hope you're having a great day. Stay safe, healthy, happy. Um, and remember, you guys are you guys are the spokespeople for your community. So keep speaking. Oh, another great reminder. Um, as I always say video is the language of our time, right? So speak the language. Tell your story. A story's not told. A story's not a story until it's told. That's one of my friends, Roberto Monaco, says. Um, he's a speaker, world renowned. He says, the story is not a story until it's told. And so we're trying to tell the story, your agent story. Uh, and there's my dog. Anyway, have a great day. I'm, I'm, um, I don't want to let you guys go. I'm like, this is my interaction for the week. No, I'm just kidding. Thank you so much, guys. Hope you're having a great day. And uh, let me know if you have any questions. Join the group. Join the group.